Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I am super excited to be doing this project. It's gonna be an off the mat and um, it's gonna be me. <laughs> so this is super cool because I feel like so many people are gonna to wanna to do this for birthday parties, graduation parties. Um, you can go and get your avatar done and then um, I'll show you who I used for both the drawing as well as turning it into an SVG file. And if you end up doing it this route, um, both you know both people that I work with are amazing. And Louise, who turns it into an SVG file, she knows what I'm looking for to make it big. So she's gonna help us with that to create this seamless SVG file. Anyway. Please subscribe if you don't already to um, my YouTube channel so that you can get notifications when videos come out and I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get started. So first thing with off the mat is this is our black background, right? So what you want to do is um, you wanna put it together. So this is like my head, right? You put it together and then you wanna make sure that, um, you know, we want to flip it inside out or backwards, right? Because we want to tape it from behind. So I have my design space up. So give me just one second. I'm going to flip it over so that I don't mess this up. All right. So when you flip it over, it's going to be this side because we want to tape from behind because the black background is going to show even though most of it, most of it will be covered, right? Because we're going to put our colored pieces on there, like my hair, my face, my dress. Um, but you're going to have an outline. So you don't want to tape it on the, on the surface, right? You want to tape it from behind. So this is what we're doing. So you're going to piece it together so that it's from behind and I feel like I already made a mistake somewhere. This doesn't look right. Oh yeah, because it's not. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that piece does not match up. This stuff confuses the heck out of me right now. All right, so this guy is over like this. I know this isn't gonna make much sense right now because it's hard for you to see. You don't even know what my avatar looks like. Um, now the cool thing about this project is that she, me, <laughs> I'm gonna be 40, 43 inches. So it's going to be large. And let's see, my feet are gonna go this way. All right, so we're gonna have to tape this little by little because she is 43 inches. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than my mat, right? Okay, something's wrong here. This doesn't look right. Let's see, because it should be this. No, this. There we go. Because these two pieces didn't match up. Okay, now we're good. All right, so I just use regular scotch tape. When you're taping this together, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you do two pieces at one time. So for instance, this isn't right either, hold on. Let me see what this piece should be like. This piece should be up like this. Okay, there. <laughs> see, I get so turned around when I'm doing this. Um, all right, I wanna make sure everything matches up. Okay, so take two pieces at one time, and I always hold one down with my hand. The other one, I'm gonna lift up a little bit and push against it, and then tape it down like that. Okay, so that way we're kind of minimizing how the seams are gonna appear. The seams are gonna be there, but what what um, helps, I guess, bring attention to it is if it's sort of flushed in, right, so you don't notice it. Now here, this is gonna be my face. Everything's gonna be covered. We're not gonna see the seams here, but where you will see, see the seams are at the edges. So at the edge, I always recommend that you tape it like this. So you get all the way to the edge, there's no movement here. If there's no movement, it doesn't catch the light, no one's gonna notice because everything else is gonna be so cute. You know, your face, your the colors that we choose and stuff like that. All right, so I do it the same way each time. Also, if you notice, what I like about this is because we do it on a grid, everything has, you know, like the four corners meet up. It's easy to put together. So now I'm gonna put this piece together with this one. So same thing, I'm gonna lift it up, make sure that it's, you know, on as close as possible 
and then I'm gonna tape it down here and then I'm gonna do a little piece right here at the edge so that there's no movement there, okay? And then you can see the tape, right? So that's why we don't wanna tape on the other side because you're gonna be able to see it if, um, if we do it that way. All right, so now I'm gonna do these two pieces. So I'm gonna do a piece in the middle and then of course a piece on the edge. And I'm so excited to do this. Um, I know I have people who follow me that are crafters and you guys sell. So I am redoing my logo, celebrating 25,000 subscribers or followers on Instagram soon. So this is in anticipation of that. Um, so I just, I don't know, it's just so fun to, to revamp your logo and you know, like after you've done it for a while and you see trends and all that stuff. So it's exciting for me to, to try out something new. All right, um, I'm gonna do these two pieces. And I also love supporting other crafters. So Louise from Cuts, Cuts Crafts and More, I believe. I know I just know her by Louise and I always just tag her. So you don't have to be, it's like, um, you know, like people are gonna forget how to spell because you start to type something and then it auto populates. I feel like that's how I am with um, accounts these days because I just, you know, you start typing it and Instagram will pop up. And then, <laughs> so between forgetting how to spell, I don't know what else I'm gonna not be able to do anymore. <laughs> All right, so here are the legs. Same thing here, you want to get it. And then I'm gonna do it at the edge as well once I get this tape down. Now this piece for some reason feels a little short. So hopefully my dress will cover that right there. All right, here we go. Uh, we have one more piece here at the edge and then we're gonna flip it over and start adding the pieces down. And you're gonna see how fun this avatar is and I think a lot of people are really gonna wanna do it for their birthday parties because it's so cute. And you can make it big, you can really customize it. Um, I have her, you'll see in a second. You might even recognize the dress that I have her wearing because it's one of my favorites. So I will be, when I post the pictures, I will be wearing the same dress. <laughs> All right, so here, I am, so you can see the whole thing, right? Like you wanna tape it all at the edges so there's no movement, movement there. And then what I like about the grid, so I know this isn't the design space tutorial, but you know how I like to set up my grid of uh, squares to start slicing? I like that because I'm able to move like this piece. I moved my square over so that it didn't have a cut down here. So there's a lot of things that you can do and minimize the mistakes just by do working with the grid. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over and I've got my glue gun going. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this a little bit differently because I know where everything is placed. I'm going to do the bottom first and I'm probably actually gonna tape it down because it's so long. So all right, let me get all the pieces. So my pieces are right here on a board. So let's put down the legs. So those are the legs. Um, I'm gonna scoot it up just a little bit so you can see the shoes. And the shoes are gonna match my headband. I know I had her drawn with my headband, which is I used to not even wear headbands, but with gray hair, you gotta wear it. <laughs> All right, so we've got that down. Let's see what's next, the skirt. So I'm gonna put down, oh good, the seams right here will be covered with the skirt panels. So that's gonna be good. And let's see what's here. It's like a little piece here. We may have to, like I said, we may have to start 
gluing it down because it's so large. So it's gonna go something like this, and then my hand is gonna come through. So we know that has to go there, right? So this, I feel like we can, we can glue down and because it's not an order, it's just for me, I feel like we can do that. Okay, so I'm spacing it out a little bit. And I've got my glue. Um, I thought I did. Give me a second, where did I put my glue? <laughs> oh my goodness, what happened to my glue? Um, I was going to use Barely Art glue, but now I can't even, oh, it's right here. It's hiding behind my pens. Um, so I'm going to use this. Let's get out some scratch paper. I like having scratch paper just to like get my glue going. Okay. All right. So this is down. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up. So sorry. You can't even see it. See, all right. I'm going to do the shoe first. And I like this glue because it dries really quickly. It dries clear and it doesn't warp your paper. I mean, you don't want to put so much down that it can't help but warp itself. <laughs> so you want to make sure you don't do that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend challenging the glue in that sense. Um, let's see, this didn't cut that well, so let me get my knife out. Yeah, I can really see this being a great party prop because it can be big, it can be in, oh, and you see like how with glue, you have to hold it down while it's drying. Otherwise, like some of it will pop up. So you wanna make sure that you're holding it down at the edges. It needs to, um, dry um, touching the bottom. Okay, all right, so that's down. Let's do this piece. So I kind of want to just hold it at the edges just for a couple seconds. That's all it needs to really anchor itself to the black background. All right, so then I'm going to take this one. I love the precision tip. I know I'm on their design team and that's not why I'm saying it. It comes out, so it comes with two different tips and I'm so used to this thin tip, the precision tip. When I use the other one, I, I get too much glue. So I use this even when it's not for something like so delicate and small, like even for the, these big pieces. I get that. Okay, so cute. I'm like in love with the process of redoing my logo and seeing the updates and seeing this. It's so fun. All right. So let's do the skirt now. So I'm gonna lift this middle panel and I'm gonna put down the glue. Now, normally, I, I think you guys are gonna wonder why I didn't use a lot of glitter cardstock for this. Um, I really try to match up my clothes with the you know like the right color so i went with regular cardstock because i didn't have a blue that really matched my dress now if i find something the great thing is once you save the project right i can always go and recut the pieces and layer it and put it on top so if i happen to find 
paper that looks more like denim than what I have right now, I will constantly, I know I need a trip to Joann's. My Joann's has a great open stock cardstock selection and um, I need to make a pit stop to see if there's something better. Because even my skin color, I felt like this is a little bit more tan than I am, but everything else felt like it was too bland and too like pale. All right, so that's down. So that means I'm gonna look, so you see this is, this is my bottom half. I'm always in a dress, <laughs> almost always. All right, so I'm gonna move this down a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna put this down because we kinda know this sign. I think we do. Where does this go? No, it goes this way. Uh, ooh, maybe the sign isn't ready to go in. You see how I move that? Maybe this needs to go over a little bit. All right, let's put these pieces down. Um, all right, so we've got hair, we've got face. Here is... And then, oh, you can't see it yet, but I have my freckles. <laughs> Look it. <laughs> it's so cute and fun. All right, I'm gonna put this down. Um, all right. Now my sign, you know, I'm always cutting things out and I feel like even though I pull out my paper beforehand, I realized I wanted a little something more bright because my my clothes are not in glitter cardstock, <clears throat> so I wanted my I felt like that's a little bit better than this, but we could even do something. So here's my 25k, but we could do oh and here's a little button for my dress. Um, we could make this pop out a little bit more and just give it some, we could do something like this, which would make it fun. Like a little bit off-centered. It'll cover the black a little bit more. And then we can put foam tape so that kind of pops out a little bit as well as the 25K. So the 25K, we can do that now. I definitely want to make sure that this pops up. So um, let's put some foam tape down. And we're going to do it on the number and the outline so that we want to make sure that it's not so flat. So we're going to get some, some depth in this piece. It's going to look more 3D than you would think. <laughs> now with this, you know um, it's going to photo really well. So you want to make sure that you use paper that you like. I usually do use a lot of glitter cardstock, um, but I did not this time. I put a little bit of glue just to make sure it doesn't pop up. Okay, let's do the five. So with the foam tape, you are gonna want to, when you're putting it down, you wanna give it like one really good push as well because all these stickers, like I'm gonna call them stickers because they have a sticky back, right? Um, it's really like, it's known as pressure vinyl or pressure like, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> pressure adhesive. So what that means is you need to apply the pressure for it to anchor itself. 
So just like think of your um, scotch tape, for instance. If you put scotch tape on something and you realize you made a mistake and you haven't pressed down on it, you can easily take it off, right? But if you totally press it down, you leave it for a month, right? That sucker is down and it's really hard to take off scotch tape. So you kind of get like, it needs to cure, right? Um, it needs to get like that push and that pressure down. So you want to do the same with anything sticky these days. I know, I didn't realize that before, but it makes sense, right? Um, so I did show you guys already, I did already record the design space portion on how to design this or how to make it in design space. So, um, if you work with Louise to convert your file and when you do the custom request, make sure you let her know like um, where your problem areas are going to be. I knew my problem areas was going to be the hair. The hair was all one piece and I knew that it was kind of long. It, we were going to need to make it in a few pieces and she was amazing at that. So this is thicker. So I'm actually going to use my thicker Amazon foam tape. I like this because I don't have, I can cut a bigger piece instead of the dots, for instance. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it on the K as well. And then I'm gonna double up. I wanna make this really pop out. So I'm going to do this and then I'm gonna add another layer. And I think I need to put a little bit more, one more piece over on the five, because I want it balanced, right? You wanna put it on here, you want it stable, you want it even. So you wanna make sure that your foam tape is balanced so that um, it will stay down for you. It will stay even and flat instead of lopsided. All right, so I'm pulling that off. See, this is so much easier. One big piece of tape. And this is on my Amazon shop. I'm gonna have to let you know. I'll link it, but um, I can't remember what category I have it under. Now I feel like I gotta go back and redo some of my categories. But I appreciate you guys all supporting my links. It really helps out so that I can continue to do these videos. So I really appreciate that. All right, let's get this down. So you see it's all starting to come together. I don't know if you guys recognize this dress, but I wear this dress a lot because um, I just love the colorful buttons. It's a little bit on the plain side because sometimes I wear crazy colors. So, um, I know, I debate about it being my favorite dress. <laughs> okay, let's get this down. So here is. And thank you for getting me to 25K. I know my accounts are kind of all over the place. So 25K is on Instagram. And hopefully I'll be celebrating 20 soon on YouTube. All right, so here is this piece. What is, it's like, you can feel the glue. <laughs> okay. Um, let's also get it on this little thing. So on this one, I'm gonna wanna do this as well, and I'm gonna double up. And I'm trying to think what else. Um, I don't know if you guys recognize the skin tone that I'm using, 
but it's sort of my favorite one for like um i use it for jasmine queen bee from lol dolls and also frida and now myself so basically it feels like all my characters of color i end up using this one i like because it's like sparkly and it sort of takes on whatever tone you need it to like if you need it to be a darker color it feels kind of darker i don't know because it felt so appropriate for jasmine and then it felt good for frida and queen bee and now <laughs> for myself so there you have it all right so this one i'm just going to layer it like this i kind of want there so i'm gonna lift this up so you can kind of see like you know it's like coming out right okay so that's gonna be here we'll do this one last because we need to do well actually i don't know if we can do it last because it needs to still be on here right okay so it's holding up the sign like that all right let's get um the hair in so the hair is kind of difficult because we got to figure out where to put it we have clues right here as to you know but we had to break it up into multiple pieces because it is a big piece um where does this go and they don't look oh here we go Oh no, see? Oh my gosh, that piece goes over here. There we go. Does this piece go here? It does go here. So it's a good thing we didn't, you know, like you can't tape the hair down because look at how much it's changed right now. Just and trying to move the pieces around. So I know I don't encourage that, but we did do it on the other piece. Where is this piece? This is a long piece. I think it goes over like this, okay. And I know you can't even see it right now. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit. And I think my face goes more, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> All right, let's, oh no. All right, we've got this one kind of framing the face. I love this brown. This brown is from, you can get it from Joann's or from 12 by 12 cardstock. I will make sure to link the exact color for you, but it's one of my favorites. I use it for anything brown because it's just so pretty. All right, we're almost there. So this is the way it's supposed to be. Let's get the ears down so that we can get better feel for where things should be. Like I think this is over here a little bit more. And then we've got the headband. I am not wearing this headband today, but I do wear this headband quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, so the major pieces are down, so we need to make sure that we like, so this is what the hair looks like and the face. So I feel like it's all good. The ear needs to be up a little bit more. And let's see if there's anything else we want to fix while we're still here. There, I think that needs to. OK, 
Okay, so while we're moving this around, we want to make sure, oh, there's pieces of the dress right here. Let's make sure that all this is good, that we're balanced all around here. Um, it's really hard to tell because it's such a big piece. Let's move this down a little bit more. I feel like there's a lot of space in the headband. That looks better. Okay. And maybe more like that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I think all that looks good. Let's move this up a little bit and let's work on, there's just a few pieces here that needs to go into place. Um, which way is this? Like, how many ways can you flip that one over? Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, so I feel like this all looks good. All right, so let's get these pieces down. Um, I think that looks better. Okay. What we can do is, so you see the face, we'll do the face last because the face, um, there's a couple pieces. There's freckles that go underneath. So we'll get to that, for, we'll do the hair first. Let's do the, the dress and the arm so that we can get this down. So I'm gonna lift this up. little neck piece so you see I'm not holding it down for a long time but I just want to make sure it anchors itself in all the points so it doesn't stick up later Whoa. <gasps> I got it on my dress that was bound to happen okay So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down, but I'll recut it. But I'm gonna put it down and then it'll just have another layer. So we'll have a little bit of, you know, like a 3D feel with the top because we're gonna have another layer on it. Okay. For these small pieces, when it's hard to pick up, I have this. It's the Quick Stick from We Are Memory Keepers. I do get it on Amazon. So you just do this. See, it picks it up because it's, sometimes it's hard to pick up the pieces. So I like to do that and then I put glue down and then flip it back over. And use this side to help put it down. Okay, then let this side pick it up.
And then this piece goes like this. <laughs> So this is, the dress is completely down. What's not down are the little buttons. So we can do that afterwards. And at the little buttons, I wanna put foam tape and get it kind of to, to pop out a little bit. All right, so let's start on the hair. Um, the hair and the headband. So I'm gonna move this for now. We'll do the sign last. So I'll move it down so you can see it. We can do like the ears. So once the ears are in place, it's kind of, it helps us set like where the hair goes and the face. Do this side. So cute, right? I mean, I know it's me, but it's not really me. That's not what I, I mean. I, it looks like me, I guess, if I, it was like, you know, but it's just so cute. Like with the freckles, I love the way the drawing, it's just so adorable. All right, so I'm gonna reposition some of this just to make sure it fits better. And then I'm just gonna pull this piece out and start gluing this down. Remember, we're not gonna glue down the face yet because for the face, I, we have seams running in the block, in the black, right? Right through the eyes. Some of it's gonna be covered, but it's gonna be completely seamless because we're gonna put a whole black piece down. Oops, let me get this down. Okay, so that's sticking down. Let's get this piece. I'm just picking up a little bit of the glue right there. Okay, and then this piece. I think this would be great for a graduation party. You can have, you can have, you can request the drawing to have a cap and gown. You can make it as like a cake topper, a big character piece. I mean, I feel like it's so versatile. All right, so the hair down here is down. We need to do this big piece right here. And then we can do the headband. Let's do this piece. I won't be doing the black background, the foam because it's too big of a piece. But I will be doing a reel on that because that you can kind of see more easily, like just quickly. I'm gonna do pictures of what that looks like. Um, I always, cause basically what you're gonna have to do at 44 inches, we're gonna need two big foam boards. So you use a hot glue gun to piece it together like this, right? Two of them back to back. Where there's that big seam, I always put some wooden dowels so that there's no, um, it won't just like flop over. Like if you accidentally bump into it and it wants to just like fold in half, if you have your wooden dowels, it will keep it straight and firm. So you wanna do that. But I will have that. <laughs> We've done it a few times before. Um, okay, so this big piece right here, I'm gonna lift it up. All right, 
I mean, look how long this piece of hair is. I just love the designers. Both designers were great to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. So this half is down. Let's scoot this over this way. And let's work on this side. Okay, I think that's a little bit more even. And then this headband will go up a little bit. There, I think that looks better. Okay, so let's start putting these pieces down. So I'm gonna grab this. And sometimes you can even do, well, no, I'm just gonna lift it up. <laughs> I was gonna fold it in half and do the glue, but sometimes the glue drips if I'm not careful. So I'm just gonna lift it up and take my chances there. Now any piece that where you didn't get enough glue, for instance, I have a feeling this, this little corner is gonna pop up, either squeeze a little bit of glue down there or afterwards you can take a sticky adhesive dot and just kind of like fold it in your hands to get like super small and then jam it underneath like that. Then it will not, you know, flap at all. Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's do this piece. Do this one next. And this is from coordinate coordination. It is, um, oh, it, it doesn't have the color on here. I cut it off, <laughs> but I have a big stack of it. So don't worry, I'll be able to tell you what color it is. So we're almost done with this side. We have just this long strand right here and then the headband, and then we'll get to the face. So I'm gonna pull this up. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. And then you can see over here, this is where the glue, I had the piece fall down and the glue came down right there. And ooh, it's okay. Uh, let's see, this ear goes, or this face goes like this. Let's get this down. There, that looks pretty even. All right, I'm gonna do this purple piece first. I'm 
Make sure you get all the corners down. Okay, and then we're gonna do this one. I love this headband. I don't have it right here with me, but I think you guys recognize it. It's the lilac one. I love it. All right, here's this one. We're almost there. And you can see I was able to still make some adjustments to that. And then here's the hair. Okay. Let's do the hair and then we're almost done. We'll do the face. The face is a, like a really important part because I want to show you some tips. So we're almost there. Looks good. All right, so the face. Um, with the freckles, instead of having the dots, these small dots, what I did was I cut out these triangles instead. So watch, when we flip this over, we can see where the freckles go, right? So I'm gonna put like a piece like that and then a piece like that and then like this. So I'm gonna tape it down right now. Uh, where's my tape? I'm losing my mind. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> so you see I'm gonna tape it down so it stays put. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over so you can see. And now you can see the little freckles, but we didn't have to cut out those little dots and keep track of them, right? So that's one thing. The next thing is, let's get this face. So you see, I'm gonna put this back down. Um, I don't know because the lights, there's a seam running right here through the eyes. So now what you wanna do is you wanna cut the exact same face, but in black, right? So now the seam is completely gone and we're gonna put it down and there's no seam in the face at all, okay? So that's, um, definitely wanna do that. So this, I'm just gonna put some glue along the edge. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Along the edge and I still made it into the eyebrow. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll see how good this glue is, right? There we go. And then I'll do it along the edge down here. Along the edge. A note to myself. That was not for you guys. <laughs> okay, so here's the face. Looking good, yay. All right, I'm gonna take the face and I'm gonna put a little bit more glue here along the edge again. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it this way. And we're gonna put in the eyes. So look at the eyes. Again, I didn't wanna do the, the little white dots, so instead I have it like this. So this is easy. We're just gonna put glue on. We don't have to keep track of the dots. Right, it's like a perfect fit. And this one goes I can't tell which side is which. There's one facing. 
think it's this way. This one and this one like that. Okay. So this one, I'm going to glue this one down. We're almost there. And you probably shouldn't put glue right across the face because the, the skin, this paper will show it. So I'm playing with fire right now. Okay, so the eyes go down like this. like this and then let's see let's see it's all perfectly spaced so let me just readjust it So let's do the mouth first. Then the eyes, and we're almost done. Then I'm just going to hold this down for a little bit. Okay, then this side. face okay then we're going to put it down like that okay so I'm gonna flip this over so you can see it a little bit more this way and let's get this I think that looks about right So it's all done. There she is, top to bottom. We don't have this on yet. So now we can kind of put it down, holding the 25K. We can move it in like this. Then I'm going to, I have little buttons for my dress, which we don't need to, you don't need to watch me do that, but it's just gonna go on a foam dot and then pop up within the buttons like that. All right, so I can't wait to put it on a foam board. I'm gonna take the pictures. So follow me on Instagram. It's instagram.com slash the useless crafter to get more pictures. And then in the link will be the two designers that I worked with on this. And I will see you guys next time. So post your questions. Let me know what you wanna see. Um, and I will definitely still be doing, you know, special requests on this. So if you end up getting one of these and you wanna know how to make it big, um, let me know and I can do that tutorial for you and everyone else can learn as well. All right. Bye guys.